bed. I was in here taking a shower, trying to turn off the water, and uh, unfortunately this little knob here doesn't work anymore. It just kind of skips, skips around. Doesn't really work. That was a bit of a shock. Uh, it got stuck on cold water, of course. So now I gotta go shut off the water and uh, fix this guy. Okay, I'm under the crawl space in my house. Um, right here is my guy. Oh, fantastic. That is quite tight. All right, so that was a bit too hard to turn by hand. On my way back, I uh, strapped up one pipe that was in my way, so I've got plenty of stuff I'm fixing right now. Let me take a look at this thing. Doesn't really look like they made it so that it could be grabbed by any tool except a hand. Oh, there we go. Okay. So just tapping it broke. Well, it didn't break it, but to allow me to turn it. Oh, that's close. You can hear the water getting tighter in here. I'm just keeping it from spinning backwards. Okay. Silence. Woo. That worked. This is actually from the dollar store. Got it for a buck. That's a deal. There we are. Mission accomplished. Got a couple drips. That's because I opened one of the other faucets without thinking that I just turned off the water. So, yeah. Okay, so I pulled this off. Uh, really wasn't too difficult. Just took out a screw out of the base of this guy here. The handle. Uh, two screws out here. Pulled the whole plate off. Pulled this whole plate off. And uh, I grabbed the inside of it, but I grabbed the inside of it here on this brass here. Pulled this guy straight out. Um, this is what's broken. Okay, it's been a bit of a crazy day so far. I uh, decided to skip a lot of details. Uh, but needless to say, I went and bought a new one of these. I put it in and it was broken. Um, it leaked constantly. I tried several different things to try to get it to stop leaking. So I took it back in, back to Home Depot, bought... Uh, replacement this time I made sure to get one that was unopened the other one was open on the shelf and I figured they wouldn't put something on the shelf that was bad but they did so I got a new one this one's been unopened so I'm gonna put this in and before when I was putting this in I thought I had to uh, uh, tap this thing in it's actually you can just slide it right in I don't know if it's gonna be true for everybody it's a pretty tight fit but the last one I had was able to just slide right in so here come, here's the whole Cartridge, as it's called, it's got these two O-rings here. Uh, it's got a hot and a cold side as well. So here's got a, I've got an H and a C. I need to make sure that those uh, face the hot and the cold. So this is hot on my shower, and uh, I'm gonna slide this in there, and this thing spins around and actually changes the temperature inside. One thing I'm gonna do different from last time is I got some plumber's grease here. Uh, I don't. I'm just a do-it-yourself guy. I'm not a professional, so but I hope that this helps uh, with that leaking issue. I'm just going to put a little bit of this plumber's grease on here. This doesn't seem to be like it doesn't harden up or anything like that, which is what I want. I don't want any silicon caulk or something in there that would uh, harden up. I'm just going to put just a, just a dab. I'm just going to put just a little dab on here and a little dab on this side. I'll just rub that around real quick. Not a lot way less than you'd even use on like a toothbrush or something like that. Very small amount. Okay, hopefully that helps with the leaking. I'm gonna make sure the hot and cold's facing the right direction. Make sure my O-rings, or the uh, gaskets here, or O-rings, whatever you wanna call them, are in the correct direction. This should just slide in. Yeah, it's a bit tough, but it'll go in. I slide it all the way back using that. Then I take a little pin, this little clip that was around this. It just straddles the, uh, Got to push them just a little bit more. Just straddles this guy. Then I've got this little, I don't know, Y clip looking thing. which sits around here. It keeps the uh, 
uh, thing, this is the handle, this is what the handle mounts on, uh, keeps this from going too far onto there. So I'm going to go, that's all I need to test and make sure this is working. Um, I'm going to go down and turn this on. I'll have my wife double check that uh, it's working and I'll get back to you guys. So I turned the water back on, have my wife double check and it seems like it's working good. So the one I got from the store, the previous cartridge right here, this is the cartridge for mowing posi temp. It looks like it's for a faucet, just like a, a hand faucet, but it works fine for this tub. If I rotate this, let me just show you, I'll put this on here. If I start, turn it to the left a little bit, it's gonna go to cold. Full blast. That uh, whirring noise, I think, is just uh, some air bubbles in there that need to get out. So here, I can feel that this is cold. Turn it further to the left. Pretty hot. Let me turn it more. There we go. That's pretty dang hot. Oh yeah, yeah, that's burning hot. It's good. Turn it back. Turns off. Let me just double check the shower. Yep. So I got the camera in the way, so I'm not going to turn that shower actually on. But I saw the hose start to go and everything. So the shower function on this works. This guy's fixed. So if you're having trouble with it leaking after you've replaced it, it could be that your unit's bad or that you need a little bit of grease. So I put this grease on there. I'm not sure which did it. One of those two. Hopefully that works for somebody. This is just a Odie Plumber's faucet and valve grease. It doesn't harden up. It's not, a, it's not like a caulk or anything like that. It's just a, a, a grease. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully this helps somebody. Please remember to like and subscribe.